What's up, folks? So, I know you don't see, but I just took my hoodie off of my press. Um, this is a 16 by 20 signature series heat press, which is freaking awesome. It rolls out. It has uh, the timer on it. So when it ends, it pops up by itself. So I can do this, put it down, and it clicks, right? And then it'll pop up by itself, or if I want to do it automatically, booyah, all right? And now I have my images that I weeded out um, on my vinyl right here and here. And then I'm going to put it on this hoodie. And then this is my setup, my crit cut, and of course my computer. So I can't do it with my hand, so just bear with me. I went ahead and placed my vinyl onto the back of my hoodie, and I put my heat transfer tape to keep it in place. So it's gonna be stupid up after I press it. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the front of the hoodie. And now I'll go ahead and put the front images on there which is gonna come out quite nicely. Now it's time to head over to the heat press. All right, take a little second because like I said, my press is a 16 by 20. This is a big print that I made. Uh, so it took up most of the press. So hopefully I get the whole thing just with one. But if not, I have to come back and more than likely do that edge I do that edge. So I'm just gonna slide it in there. And I'm not gonna uh, sit here and make y'all watch this whole process. So I'll be back after I press it for the 60 seconds. All right, here it goes. All right, let me make sure it's in there, right? All right. All right. And it's at uh, 340 degrees for 60 seconds. And usually any um, vinyl that I use, I do everything for 60 seconds. And, it's, and it has worked for me. I mean, I haven't had any problems like with this new press at all. Like my old press, problems. I had like a 16 by 24 press and it, it, it had its issues. But now I got this one. I paid a little bit more money and it's paid off ever since. I haven't had a crappy print at all. So it's almost down to the countdown. I hope it basically got everything if not, I'll have to wait for it and then try it again. And it's about to pop. <laughs> Boop. Okay. Just give me one second. I'm back. You pull, I pulled it out. Now I'm just going to take my t-shirt and I'm just going to rub all over it and just let it get in there. You know, because, you know, you can like peel it but I this is what I do just to wipe it in there so it really has adhered to the fabric so just give me now a what I'm doing is I basically I left the the print on the back on and then I just flipped it over and now I'm gonna do the front and let it uh, do its thing and then uh, once it's done I'm just gonna then peel it off because since this is a thick since it's a hoodie it'll be thicker so it hasn't gone all the way through most of the time when I t-shirt um, I'll put my print on the front and back and press them at the both time and basically they both will cure at the same time which is 
um, helpful in that situation. When doing a front and back print, then I peel and then I hit it real quick, you know, 10 seconds uh, just to make sure it's cured in there. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do with this. And I'm just waiting. <laughs> Bam. Moolah. Voila. Magic. All right. One sec. And lift it up to tape. So let's hope that it just comes off nice and smooth. I'm going to have to put my knee up here because I'm got one hand free and hold down the side of the hoodie. So let's go here. Okay, it's coming up nicely. Okay. All right. Come on now. Oh no. Didn't come up right there because the vinyl sticking to it and it's underneath, so that's the problem. So that might not work, but hopefully I can pull it off and go back over it. Just have to be gentle right there and do it. Go back and hit it with the press again. Let me just finish getting this off. Yeah, I think it got it. In, that's not good if it got underneath the... Oh, it did. It got underneath the thing. Look at that. It's fine. It's fine. No one will notice. But for the most part, it turned out awesome. Do that. I still got a little piece. That's fine. It does. Yeah, you, you can't really even tell. But that's basically it. And then I'm gonna hit it uh, again real quick with the the press, and I'll be right back. And uh, there we have it, people. That's the f back with that electric blue vinyl. And this is kind of like a, like a salmon, a sa salmon kind of color. It's not really showing up on the camera, but it's like a pink salmon color. And this is like, of course, electric blue, you know, just trying to make it cool color. And it came out real nice. Now you gotta be careful because like a little piece of when I was weeding, a little piece of the vinyl got on there, but I can probably get that off, but it, you know, whatever. Does that's character. Then of course the front. It's my American Triple E on that side. And then I make this cool little right here. And that's it. And once my website is up, uh, this hoodie will be on there, but it won't be this color. This is just something I was doing with this color, I had this hoodie, so I was like, hey, why not? But this one won't be on there, but this one will be on there. Just in black. And then it have a little bit more finishing touches to it, because this one has the arrows on the sleeves, on both sleeves, which is stupid dope. But yeah, once I get my side up and going, we'll be good to go. But uh, thanks for watching my video, and you guys have a great night. Uh, this is American T-Shirt Co. This is Keith Green signing out. Peace.